Hey, welcome back. My name is Dino. This video is on heuristic evaluation. It is basically an introduction to heuristic evaluation. As always, I like to start off with the definition whenever possible. Uh, heuristic evaluation, it's having a small set of evaluators examine the interface of a website, etc and judge its compliance with recognized usability principles. And these usability principles are the, uh, the heuristics involved. As a result, these evaluators using this uh, heuristic evaluation, they help to, to ensure that usability is adhered to in a website. What's the rationale behind it? Why would you do this? Uh, heuristic evaluation is difficult for a single individual to do because one person will never be able to find all the usability problems in an interface. You know, we all have our own biases, what we understand and don't understand are, you know, we all have blind spots, etc. Uh, from this, different people find different usability prob uh, problems, and therefore it is possible to improve the effectiveness of the method significantly by uh, involving multiple evaluators. As you can imagine from all of this, multiple evaluators surface different usability problems than if they'd be left to one just alone. Uh, this idea that you want multiple evaluators calls into question what's the number of evaluators you want to do for a heuristic evaluation. Uh, Nielsen suggests using three to five evaluators since one does not gain that much additional information by using larger numbers. So if you have a small team of evaluators, again, more than one, like you don't want as few as two, you want more if possible, but if you're on a limited budget or you have access to few evaluators, even as few as three to five evaluators can achieve your usability goals and help identify any problems. And this is a sort of a, a always obviously a bit of a dance between the individual and the team. Uh, heuristic evaluation is performed by having each individual evaluator inspect the interface alone. You don't want them all to be together doing it all, all in the same room, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Only after all, after all the evaluations have been completed are the evaluators allowed to communicate and have their findings aggregated. From this, you don't want to um, have this communication uh, until the independent evaluation is done because they may bias each other. As a result, indiv independent evaluations help achieve usability goals by, by preventing such thing as bias. Like say if one person has an idea, one evaluator has a, per has a, has a particular bias and then that could sort of bleed through and contaminate other evaluators who may have different impressions of the, the website being uh, examined. Uh, also, written reports are a really good idea to have for a heuristic evaluation. Evaluation results can, can, quote, can be recorded either as written reports from each evaluator or by having the evaluators verbalize their comments and observer as they go through the interface. Written reports have the advantage of presenting a formal record of the evaluation but require an additional effort by the evaluators that need to be read and aggregated by an evaluation manager. As a result, if done properly and well, and at a high level, written reports record usability issues in a digestible form, which is a short report. Um, as you would imagine, complex sites and large evaluation teams need time for, you know, for them individually to go through these things, but also to aggregate these results and then have an evaluation manager do that. That was uh, an a quick introduction to heuristic evaluation. My name is Dino. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to, to um, uh, like this video. If you liked it, please feel free to provide comments. Um, what do you think of the rationale for heuristic evaluations? Are they useful for looking examining a usability for a website? Um, does the a number of evaluators seem to be appropriate? How many can you afford to have? Like how much time do you have as well? Uh, what do you think of the role of individuals and teams? How do you ensure that, that individual evaluators are sufficiently different from one another that they can find unique usability problems? And finally, uh, where do you come on the side of written reports? How, how useful do you think they are? Uh, again, that was heuristic evaluation. My name is Tina. Thanks for watching. As always, you can also subscribe to this channel if you like this type of content. Thanks for watching. Take care.